Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Ryan back in the Man 16 Ultimate Team video and today for signing into Ultimate Team You should be getting two different pop-ups. One of them will be a Gridiron Club reward Thank you for joining Mutt Rewards. Enjoy these contracts If you are in the very first tier, which is pro, you'll be getting 1,000 contracts All pro gets 1,500 and legendary status will get you 2,000 contracts Of course to be legendary, you must have opened 1,000 packs um, and then the other thing you should be getting today is a BCA edition of uh, Jerry Rice. So like I said, like I predicted, BCA is going to be coming very, very soon. And this is going to kind of mess up the market for a little bit. And like I said, if you guys did sell off your teams, do not worry. I'm absolutely 100% certain that you are going to make a bunch of coins off of that. Because the cards that you did have on your team are all going to be going for a lot less once this officially drops. So there's a Jerry Rice, 82 overall, short pass style, Madden season, looking pretty nice right there, little BCA program, little badge down there. Uh, he's 6'2", 88 speed, 87 spectacular catch with 92 catch in traffic and 85 route running to go along with his 91 base catch rating. So a very, very good card right there. And of course, um, a lot of people are speculating already that he will be the reward for the BCA set that you have to do whenever that comes out. Uh, we will be getting more details about that tomorrow. So if you guys want to know about what's going on, maybe if you're not on Madden, I will have a video uploaded on all the details of BCA. Now, another thing I want to mention real quick is the Elite Badges. I told you guys to invest into Elite Badges for around 20k. And right now, they're still sitting around 25k. So they have not changed as of yet. But I definitely expect that number to go way up very, very soon. So um, there's not really anything to worry about. Uh, selling off your team, like I said, will make you a bunch of coins. And then even at the very least, uh, the Elite Badges will go up to around 30k at some point and maybe even higher. So once you sell off all those, you'll make a decent profit on all the badges you got. If you invested a ton, let's say you invested into like 100 Elite Badges, then you're going to be making a lot of coins. Uh, if you only got a couple, maybe like 5 to 10 then I do believe you're still going to make a lot of coins. I mean, even if you don't, even if you don't make a bunch of coins, at the very, very worst, you're probably just going to break even on all the badges you got anyways. I mean, we've seen them up this year for around 30 to 35K. So once they hit that mark again, which they will, uh, you're going to make a lot of coins. It all It's only going to take that one thing that comes into the game that everybody wants that requires elite badges to end up making them skyrocket. Let's say they release like 10 to 15 more flashback cards. Then there you go. Right away, they're going to skyrocket up in price, probably around 35 to 40K. And all those ones you bought for 20K, you're going to make double the profit back on every single badge that you ended up getting. Now, as you guys seen right there, I was showing you the new Game Changer bundle, which was in the game, that guarantees you 10 cards that are all around 74 to 84 overall. And this should lower the prices on some of these Captain cards. Not by a whole bunch, but enough to where you guys might want to go ahead and take a look at some of these cards and see if you can get a little bit of a snipe and flip it. Uh, and this should also raise the prices for Elite Badges a little bit as more and more people pull these 74 overall cards. Um, I'm not expecting a super high dramatically increase in Elite Badges just yet based off of just this bundle. But it's something to take a look at, something to look at your 74 overall cards and, you know, just see what exactly is rare now. And, you know, most of them are all the same price. There are a little bit of fluctuations in price. Micah Hyde down to 97k. Um, like I said, just take a look at all the 74 overalls. Take a look at all the fullbacks like Henry Hynoski and I think Javorski Lane is one of them that goes for a little bit. Uh, just take a look at all those cards. You know, you never know what people are going to open and what people are going to put up. Uh, but I also have a promo pro pack here and there's something I want to go ahead and take a look at because apparently there's a new sound when you open up packs. So let's go ahead and listen to this. All right, so there you have it. A little bit of an update on the audio for opening up packs. Now it sounds really crazy. Like, uh, I'd probably get you pumped up if you pulled an Elite card. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to sound like, but it seems as if they changed the, like, sound of it by maybe, like, 5 up to, like, 15. It's really, really loud right now. Uh, but there is a Jerry Rice. We finally got the pop-up for it. But anyways, back on topic about BCA. Just going to open up a couple packs here and see if we can get anything crazy as I talk about BCA. But, uh... Yeah, tomorrow we will be getting a lot of details about the BCA promo. I'm not sure if we're going to see all the cards, but we'll probably see about, uh, probably like 5 to 10 of them maybe. They usually, when they show the article, discussing what is going to be in the promo and what exactly we have to do. There'll probably be like collectibles and whatnot that you have to get to put into the set. Maybe solo challenges 
and things of that nature. So we're going to see a lot of details about that tomorrow, and I will go ahead and detail, you know, what I think is going to happen and, you know, maybe give you guys some tips on how to prepare for it. Um, BCA is always one of those big promos, like I've been saying now for the past couple of days. Uh, you know, it's something that people love to do. Um, it's for a good cause. Like, I'm not sure exactly how much money goes from what we spend on the packs to, you know, breast cancer awareness, all the foundations, stuff like that. So a lot of people are definitely interested every year and just trying to help out a little bit. You know, even if it's just a pack or two, you know, it definitely does help out. And they always have some really nice cards. Like, we've seen a lot of good BCA cards, limited edition BCA cards and stuff like that from previous years of Madden. Like, Derek Brooks is one of them that I can think of. Uh, there's a really nice Larry Fitzgerald, Demarius Thomas. And you're probably going to see a lot of the same players. Like, I would definitely... Uh, if you guys are a Larry Fitzgerald fan, I am 100% certain that we're going to be getting a new Larry Fitzgerald. Um, we may be getting a new Chris Johnson. Uh, that's going to be a really fun card to play with. Demarius Thomas is always one of those guys that gets one. Um, and of course, you know, D'Angelo Williams having a really, really nice season so far. Even though Le'Veon Bell is back, his first two games, he's had a really, really good outing for those uh, two performances. And, you know, he's one of the biggest, you know, supporters of that in the NFL. He even dies at tip of his dreadlocks you know, pink, which is really, really cool to see. So you're probably going to see a really good card of him if I was to uh, guess what's going to happen tomorrow. But like I said, I will have details on that tomorrow. I will upload a video, you know, just discussing everything and then helping you guys a little bit, trying to prepare for it. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead, hit it with a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.